ABC 21 starts right now. Tonight on The Score, the postseason begins with a Northeast 8 rematch between Columbia City and East Noble. We check in on an exciting matchup in the 2A bracket between Eastside and Bluffton. And Bishop Lures begins its playoff run at home, hosting Whitco. Welcome to another episode of The Score, as well as the first round of sectionals. I'm sure you can tell Zach isn't here this week, but we're joined now by one of our multimedia journalists, Vince Levergine. Vince, welcome. Thank you, Rachel, for having me. It was another intense Friday night of football. These teams came out ready to play, and despite that rain, it's playoff football, so anything can happen. So let's get right to those highlights. And it's time to head to Kendallville. East Noble put up a 17-point win over Columbia City during the regular season. And now the teams clash with their seasons on the line. It's Columbia City versus East Noble in tonight's signature matchup. The misty weather doesn't hold off any fans. The stands were absolutely packed to cheer on their teams on Friday at East Noble. The Knights take an early lead in the game, scoring just three minutes in. And they add on. Cole Schupbach lofts a perfect throw on a go route to Rowan Zolman, seaming down the sideline, and he pulls it in for a 32-yard touchdown. It's a 14-0 East Noble lead near the end of the first. And they continue to pull away. Zolman pulls down an interception and returns it 65 yards into Columbia City territory. That's one of my favorites this year, and yes, you'll see that one later on in the show. Four plays later, Justin Marcellus takes it in from two yards out to make it 21-0 midway through the second quarter. The Knights move on and continue to chase those state champion dreams, 35-7. Angola made some nice progress this year, and the Hornets hope that can lead them to a long playoff run. That starts Friday night with a road test at DeKal. The Hornets lost in a sectional opener last season, but can they buzz past DeKal for a little redemption? In the first quarter, Tucker Hasselman says, gotcha, pitching to Andre Tagalaferi, gaining a new set of downs. While this game, though, is a defensive battle. On fourth down, the Hornets pushing their luck, but Carter Miller says not so fast, making a great tackle to stop Angola in their tracks, turning the ball over on downs. DeKalb eventually scores the only TD of the night as they go on to win this one 7-0. In 3A, Garrett tries to find a way to get out of the first round of sectionals for the first time since 2016. The Railroaders meet Jimtown in sectional 26. In the third quarter, the Jimmies lead 9-3, and looks like Ethan Duvall decides to extend that lead. Duvall dashes, rushes 86 yards to the house. Jimtown up 16-3. The Railroaders try to kickstart a comeback. Seth Wagner picks up the first down, but the drive stalls. Jimtown wins 26 to three. And now it's time to take our first time out here on the score, but when we come back, a few more big games to get to. Up next, we swing by Bluffton for the Tigers clash with fourth ranked Eastside. side. 